So I'm making this video to show off my setup. I realize I've become that guy at school that won't shut the hell up about a setup, so I might as well make a video about it. The first thing I want to show off is i3 window manager, specifically i3 gaps. So what i3 allows me to do is firstly tile win windows like this. I can tile windows, I can move them, uh, I can basically do whatever I want with them. Um, more complicated than Windows, you know, Microsoft Windows, you know, you slide it to the left and to the right. Um, it's more advanced than that, and you can do much more complicated things with it. Although, admittedly, I don't always uh, use complicated configurations. But it's really helpful when I need to compare two or more things, like receipts and my bank account in a browser or like this, a header file over here on the left and some code I'm using the functions from, uh, using the functions from the header, I should say. Um, or like this, I'm writing the tech and I wanna see its output on the right. Um, I mean, or let's say I don't have this configured yet, so um, I wanna compile down here, I can easily do that or even resize it. Um, basically, if you can imagine it, i3 can do it in terms of tiling. Um, there's also floating windows, but um, the, whole, the whole point of i3 is to tile. Um, the second thing about i3 is the fact that you can easily create keyboard shortcuts, like this is a shortcut for a calculator, there's a calculator for, for music, um, there's a shortcut for, you know, quickly changing the mode. Well, I want to say mode, like, lo you guys can see locking it, exiting, and so forth. Um, in fact, this is a script I made, which is exactly my point. I created the script from scratch to do this, um, which is really great, really nice. Um, so, moving on, the second thing I want to show off is my file manager. So this is Ranger. Um, so people, a lot of people will use a GUI program. There's nothing wrong with GUI programs. Um, I just find that it's not as customizable um, or as user-friendly than these terminal programs. So specifically, you can use your arrow keys to move this. I use Vim keys, um, which actually leads into third thing I want to talk about, which is Vim. So as an anecdote, um, one of my colleagues was telling me how he was not struggling with this class, but that this particular computing class was taking him a lot of time to complete assignments. And I was surprised because when I had taken that class, I didn't think it was that bad, um, to be quite frank. And it's not so much that the concepts, that I found the concepts to be easier than he did. Um, but in talking to him, uh, he was telling me how just the assignments were just a drag. It was just a lot to do, but not necessarily hard. Um, so like I said, I was very confused. Um, well, not confused, but... Um, I quickly realized that his biggest problem was using these GUI programs where you have to use your mouse and whatnot to, you know, to click on stuff, to highlight stuff, move it around. So what Vim allows me to do, you know, is grab this code, move it down here, you know, or let's undo that. Um, let's go to line 56, you know. And something like that but um, you know or let's say I want to change the arguments here boom I can just change them like that uh, oh like I misspelled or I didn't use the appropriate symbol let me change that real quick you know I replaced it but that's worthy of another video but that's basically the essence of 
of my workflow um, and just the specific advantages it gives me in terms of efficiencies. Um, so even this, for example, like I said, I have dim key bindings arranger. So I can get this file, put it over here, you know, uh, and put it back. Um, but anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna have follow-up videos uh, that kind of explains how to set up some of this stuff. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to start with either Vim or Ranger or i3 because I think all these programs are important or I should say they're very effective uh, when used together or you know as gamers put it they synergize um, <laughs> but anyways thank you for watching um, stay tuned for more videos thank you